I still can't believe this card's worth over $100. Why on earth is it worth so much? There are thousands and thousands of cards available all around the United States and I'd venture all around the world that are 50 cents, a dollar, two dollars in bargain bins that you can go find right now and flip for a profit, whether it's $5, $10, $15, or just a few dollars. That stuff is everywhere, and that's what I do on this channel. I go and I dig through these bargain boxes looking for the overlooked and the undervalued cards that I can go flip right now in today's market at this moment. Hopefully, that's always the guess. You never know if it's gonna sell, but usually the stuff can do really well. We're gonna go in to dark side again, guys. This is my favorite spot here in Las Vegas. I hope as sports card shops evolve, we see more and more shops like this that are focusing not just on graded stuff, not just on retail boxes that they're flipping or hobby boxes, but also bargain boxes. Stuff that they get in collections all the time that they can pass along to us at good deals or, you know, always an option they could sell it themselves on ebay but if they don't want to go through that hassle that's what i'm here for i'm going to find the deals and see what i can buy i always gravitate to the new stuff that i haven't seen in previous visits these are from 2003 oversized box toppers from the pro bowl if i can get my hands on these at a decent price i'm going to pick them up i've never seen a jersey uh, box topper that i can remember this is insane once again and it's also numbered to like 377. At the moment, the ones with the yellow painter's tape are half off, so these are only a dollar a piece. Trey Mann, decent player for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Number to 75, Orange Wave. I'm gonna pick that up. This is cool, probably about a four or five dollar card. Jaden McDaniels, great player uh, for the Timberwolves Prism rookie for a dollar. I'll pick that up. And with the draft lottery just yesterday, Amen Thompson, I think is gonna be like top five, maybe top three picks. I'm gonna pick that up. I'm picking up this stack of Trevor Lawrence rookie cards from Topps. Unfortunately, not branded, but still a lot of the cool designs from the past. 50 cents a pop, good deal. I'm going to put these through our whatnot auction. Also at 50 cents a pop, a couple Jamar Chases, both going in our whatnot auction as well. And don't forget, these are coming with top loaders that are worth like 10 to 25 cents a piece by themselves. So that's extra value. Oscar Mercado, um, he's with the Cleveland Guardians, I believe. For a dollar, I'm going to pick that up. Not sure who this guy is. I think he's with the A's now. I'm not 100% sure. Mikel uh, Triana to 99, autograph for a buck. I love the uh, Heritage Miner stuff. Not super valuable, but I love it. Drew Burgess, he's not even, I think he hasn't even been drafted yet. Um, but still, number to 25 and an auto. I'm going to pick that up. Second year Shohei Otani card. I'm definitely going to pick this up at a buck. No brainer, I feel like. The prices are all over the place, but I think it will be profitable. Found a Bobachet Chrome rookie. Bobachet's great player for the Toronto Blue Jays. Picking that up at 50 cents. That'll probably go on my whatnot auction. Eduardo Rodriguez. Price is also all over the place on this card. But at 50 cents, I'm going to take a flyer on so it. So I ended up only spending $13.50 here at Darkside today. So I'm going to go over to Legacy 2, which is on my way home. Those are the two spots I hit here in Vegas for the, for the bargain boxes. But here's an interesting story. So I put aside those box topper 2003 Tom Brady's. I thought they were like a buck they were in that box and then that giant jersey thing i was probably going to put them through whatnot at least the jersey i was and then the brady's maybe ebay i think i was going to do ebay but uh it's never a good sign when they like call somebody else to figure out the price the second they started calling people and trying to figure out what they were worth i knew i wasn't gonna gonna get a deal on them so that's kind of how i play i'm about getting deals i'm not about paying Gosh, I don't even pay 70% of comps on stuff, guys. I'm finding stuff in these bargain bins looking for deals. So that is my game plan. I'm not doing slabs. I'm not typically doing like a certain percent of off, percentage off comp, unless I really like it, which in most cases I'm not doing. I'm looking for these bargain box deals, stuff I can put on whatnot in eBay. Going to Legacy now, so follow along. Okay, we are at Legacy. Wish me luck. Let's go check out their boxes. They got a lot of two to eight dollar boxes now. So those could be good. I haven't looked through them too thoroughly. I love it when this happens. They put out a bunch of fresh cards, a lot of autographs, nothing too, too crazy. But at a dollar, I'm picking up this Miritich Auto. Here is a Michael Carter Williams. I mean, that guy was the rookie of the year. Uh, I think he's still in the league, but at a dollar, I'm picking that up. Numbered Mateen Cleaves, college legend autograph. Not a big, big ticket item, but I'm not going to pass that up at a dollar. 
Uh, Marcin Gortat, I probably would have uh, not got that, but it's low number to 49. There's going to be somebody who collects that and wants that. Cody Zeller, I, I got one the other day. This one I decided against just because I found so much other stuff that was really, really good. Um, here we go. This is Daniel Gafford. I believe he's on the Wizards right now. Pretty good. Next up, we got a Cabangele, um rookie auto. Played for FSU. I think he was on the Clippers for a while. That's actually not as bad as you might think. It's a decent card at a dollar. Number to 99. These are harder to find, so I'm going to pick that up. He played, I believe, for the Hawks for a little bit. Number to 99, Clay Thompson. I'm going to pick up number to 99 stuff of Clay all day at a dollar. There's a Seku. I'm not sure what team he's on right now, but he was a fairly decent pick for the uh, Pistons a couple years. A higher-end pick. This is Nikhil Alexander-Walker playing for the Utah Jazz. They picked him up this year. George Niang, another ex-Jazz guy um, that's on the 76ers. Number to 49, select rookie. Definitely going to pick that up at a dollar. That seems like a steal to me. Doug McDermott. These are cool. Acetate autograph rookie view autos. There was a bunch of those in here. I decided to be a little picky with them. You're going to see a few more that I almost got, but I decided against. Emmanuel Moutier was a big-time prospect, and this card's still going to get like six or seven bucks shipped at a dollar a piece. They're all numbered to $2.99. I'm cornering the market. James Ennis, he was playing with the Magic this year. This is his rookie. I think he's overseas now, though, but at a buck, I'm going to pick that up. I ended up putting this Mitch McGarry back. Um, it would have been profitable. I would have made a few bucks. Dante Exum, really wanted this guy to work out for the Jazz. He played with them forever and never panned out, but he's part of the Australian national team. He's playing in Australia. That's actually a decent card for a buck. It's definitely a buy. Nick Collison, Mr. Seattle, Mr. Sonic right there. Rookie, not rookie, but an auto. I'm going to pick that up. Alex Lynn, still in the league with the Sacramento Kings, number to 49 auto. You know, not big time, but for a dollar, I'm going to pick that up. It's low numbered. Nick Stoskis, I always pick up his stuff. He played at Michigan. He had kind of like a little comeback with the Celtics the other year. I don't know if he's still in the league, but I decided to put that back. This is a great deal at a dollar. They might have accidentally had this in there. Christian Bond, Braun Silver, the low on eBay right now is like 20 bucks. I ended up putting these back. I, I maybe should have got them. Max Christie, he's on, you know, this brand new product. He's on the Lakers. The Lakers stuff is a little hot right now. This is a color match. Silver, or sorry, Purple Ice Pete Maravich to 149 Didn't even look that up at a buck. I'm getting that all day. Didn't look this up either. Trey Young to 49 I don't care what it is. Shiny Trey Young stuff. I'm going to pick up at a dollar. That's a steal. Here we go. Cody Martin. Um, good, good player, guys. Cody Martin, somebody that you can find in the bargain bins all the time. I put this Luke, Luca Garza back. Probably could have kept it. It's numbered to 149 It's a good, clean-looking card. And Iowa's got a good fan base. Speaking of which... Aaron White for Iowa. Just think they have nothing else, you know, sports-wise in Iowa but their basketball and football team. So there's going to be somebody out there that wants this. This card was really valuable. This is why you got to look everything up, guys. I almost put this back. I looked it up. The low on eBay for one not numbered is like 140 I thought that was a glitch or something. And then I saw one that sold unnumbered for like 30 something So I'm not sure what I'm going to get, but it was a steal at a dollar. Skybox Autographics for a buck. I'm going to pick that. I don't care who it is. At a dollar, I'm picking it up. Khalid El Amin out of UConn. I think he was a national champion. On-card auto for a buck. Heck yeah. Didn't pan out in the NBA, but a great, great player. I thought about getting this Rashad McCants because he played at UNC. Didn't pan out in the NBA. I ended up putting that one back. Here we go. This is a disco prism um, of Jalen, the prismatic Jalen Brown. I got that. They're in the Eastern Conference Final right now. And at a dollar, this is a steal. It's a little low right now. Might only get three or four bucks, but that's a Deon uh, DeAndre Ayton rookie prism gonna pick that up all day and then i did finally get to the higher end boxes for me a three dollar dyson daniels to 25 he was the eighth pick i think in the draft this year i'm gonna pick that up the low on ebay is like 35 no sold history and christian braun on the nuggets numbered uh to 99 four dollars i decided to get the christian braun i didn't get this jalen brown number to 65 probably could have and would have made money the low seemed to be about 15 on that brown legacy actually had a little pocket of new stuff so that's good i'm glad they're keeping up the bargain boxes it's great for someone like me who likes to come in often and try to find some deals i didn't even really get to the two to eight dollar box i just looked at that one found the dyson daniels and the christian braun and that's really all i decided to get from that box but there was a ton of autos at a dollar a piece you really can't go wrong with any of them you're going to make a profit um, you know, maybe not a great one, but uh, I tried to pick the ones that I thought had the best opportunity, and there was some ones that were surprisingly good. So that Nigel Hayes card is kind of blowing my mind. I'm still not 100% certain why they're asking so much and why it's selling for so much. 
All I know is it had several bids on a base variation. So just a regular base auto had several bids and it got to $33. What that tells me is a base one's worth more than $30 because that was just on bid, random people checking it out that week. If you put that at a buy it now, I'd imagine it'd probably get you 50 or 60. So the $140 variation that's currently on eBay, number to 99 like mine, seems like a pretty solid price. I imagine I'm not gonna sell mine for quite as much, but it has 10 watchers, so there is demand for that. I think I should be able to get at least 100, or you know, I'll probably take an offer for 70, 80, 90, even 60 if it's been sitting there for months and months and months. But I think there's a very good chance I could get 100, 120, maybe I'll even get you know, 135, 140. I'm probably gonna put mine a little under theirs at like 135. I was trying to do some research now I can understand, you know, if he's a, you know, it's a popular college, it might be worth 10 or $15. Maybe he was a legend of that college. I don't know why that, that, that card is so valuable. This is what I've discovered from researching. And my only idea, which is really far-fetched, he's playing in Turkey right now. I don't think he's like an all-star or anything, but he did have one viral moment. If you go look up Nigel Hayes on um, YouTube and TikTok, there was a like a after game conference, right? That they do a little, uh, whatever they call those, the interviews after one of the conference games or one of the tournament NCAA tournament games. Him, Sam Decker, and uh, Frank Kaminsky, they were talking, and then I guess he was caught on mic saying that uh, that one of the reporters was really beautiful or something, and it was viral and it got a lot of views. That's the only thing that I could think might make him kind of like a viral sensation star guy. And maybe that's why the card's worth that much. Let me know what you think. I mean, that doesn't seem like that should do it, but maybe that's it. Maybe that's why it has so much interest. It's like one of those iconic, you know, moments in the history of, you know, sports cards or sorry, sports journalism or whatever. I'm not sure. So what do you guys think? Why is that card worth so much? Is there something I'm missing? Do you think I'll get that much? Um, at a dollar, I'm definitely gonna gonna try thank you all so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it please consider liking and subscribing i'm gonna be doing a lot more of this content i'm trying to do a card video every other day i'm excited for it we'll see you next time